In the interest of full disclosure, I will note that I was sent a review copy for this by publisher Stormforger. Now, its head, Isaac Tate, is a friend of the show, but that won't play a role in my assessment. Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Mildra, and I will be your gaming monk for the evening. Today is a relative first, a look at a genuinely spooky game. Not spooky within a certain genre, but just good old-fashioned spooky. Today, we're talking about Haunt. And if my intro sounds brief, that's because the book in question is only 35 pages long. Which is why this is a first unimpressions video and not a typical review. With all that said, let's dive into it. Haunt is a game about, well, haunts. The player character is a supernatural investigator of some kind investigating these hauntings. We'll be exploring this in character creation through an exorcist named David. Now, after establishing the initial parts, the step two is archetype, the starting point of the character, which carries its own boon as well as the starting attributes. The six available archetypes are priest, investigator, psychic, scientist, exorcist, and mystic. Of these, we'll go with exorcist, which grants us the ritual boon, as well as a rank in faith and knowledge. There are three skills in Haunt, and you have three points to spend between the three. In our case, we'll place two in Courage and one in Investigation. After that, the skills are increased by two attributes and decreased by the third. This may result in skills having a negative value. In our case, we have Courage 4, Interrogation 0, and Investigation 1. The final step is Secrets, akin to Aspect and Fate with its own spins. This is because in Haunt, each character has a set of secrets that the GM will attempt to uncover, with two hints associated with each one that the players can give up in exchange for their boon. It's vital not to give them freely, since these secrets act effectively as your health. The three secrets are the Haunt Secret, the Character Secret, and the Background Secret, each having two hints associated with it. Character creation is fairly quick, with the only part I could find tricky being the Secret part. That's because, much like in other narrative-style games, it needs to be made clear where the line is between a good example of a secret and a bad example. While there's a few spreads, I think a blurb about where the line is couldn't hurt. Still, not bad for what it's attempting. Haunt is a die pool based affair. When using a skill, you roll a number of d10s equal to the skill plus its strengths, minus the weakness, if any, and then add 1 to 3 die based on the number of secrets that you have. Any die that roll an 8 or higher are successes, with the success threshold being 2. Most rolls will be rooted in the Haunt, which is a Courage roll where the GM tries to uncover player secrets, Investigation, and Interrogation. Failing these rolls can allow the GM to ask questions about player secrets. I'd also point out that the book has a Haunt generator that is structured similarly to generating a random adventure. But even with that, the general premise will remain the same a group of people investigating a haunted area to try and deal with said haunt. Haunt is dedicated to a specific style of play, and that's going to be a blessing and a curse. It wants to do haunts typically in a one-shot style, almost like a TV episode rather than a lengthy arc. That's where it's at its most comfortable, especially in the style of films like The Exorcist or anime like Mononoke. Outside of that, it's going to have some problems. So I can't see this as anything to break out long term. After all, you can only put so many spins on the haunted house. All that said, I'd say this is a case of being a decent beer and pretzel game if you play by its rules and stay in its lane. Otherwise, you're going to be in for some interesting times.